Hello everyone. This is Suzette from the Free J. I want to talk a little bit about something that I haven't really said too much about. A lot of you that go to our channel know that my husband and I have been set free from the bondage of legalistic legalism and religious religion. Me of 35 years, my husband of 10 years. And so I never really talked about how my life is now with God. I want to share a little bit about it, but I want to go back to about what I was talking about when I didn't really share. After I was set free from that religious bondage, I was a Bible study teacher, altar worker, um, knocking on doors, taught the women from our church. I was a teacher. I fed the homeless, doing the home homeless ministry. And anyway, a lot of you know that we're, we were busy, busy in life doing all these things, trying to reach souls and save them. So anyway, to make a long story short, what I want to talk about is I had all these books. I was a reader and had all this literature and books of, of, of people's ideas and people's teachings and writings and, and all these things. And, and I'm not downing any of that or anybody's wisdom, knowledge, or understanding of what they, they receive. But I remember after being set free from religion, a little bit after that, I went through all my literature and my books and everything. And I got rid of everything, everything. I didn't want to hear or read anything from man's understanding. I felt like I didn't want anything to do with the religion that I was set free from. Because most of the, the literature and the books that they encourage you to get, that they tell you to get, is from you know the same belief the same religion people that are writers and and write these studies and books and things like that and so it was all religious and all religion to me so i went home i threw away everything i got rid of it and i just said god i don't want to read any more books i don't want to hear anyone's man's understanding I just want to know you. I want to know you. I believe I can know you. I can know you just like that pastor over the pulpit. I can know you just like that preacher, that writer of a book. If they're filled with your spirit, just like me, then there's no difference between them and me. And I said, God, I believe and I know you can show me, reveal to me and speak to me and let me know who you are. And so for a while there, I didn't even read my Bible. I know that sounds crazy because a lot of people say, well, if you don't read your Bible and this and that, I didn't read it, even read my Bible. I started having these dreams and these visions that were so amazing to me because I would wake up, wake up out of my sleep. And sometimes when I was asleep, it was like if I wasn't asleep because I can hear this voice. It's, it sounds, it sounded so beautiful. And he was letting me know who he is. That's how it started. I'd wake up for about two weeks 
And it was so beautiful because I would hear this. It was like if I was awake and I can hear this voice like water running. It, it was just so beautiful. And he was letting me know who he was, allowing me to understand who he was. So I say all that to say this, that I never experienced when I was in religion, the love of God like I do now. I was acknowledged of the love of God like I know Him now. How much I'm loved and accepted and how much I'm forgiven of all my sins. My past sins, my now sins, present, my future sins. And if I never ever pick up a book and read it again, I know that I'm loved and I'm accepted by God. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. If I never, ever, ever step into one of those church buildings ever again, I know who my Savior is. And He knows who I am. And He loves me right where I'm at. And that's just so amazing to me. That's so amazing. I remember there was a time after I left religion and because in the church that I attended, I was known by other people as the prayer warrior, as the, the spiritual one, as the one that lays her hands on people and people are healed and all these kinds of things. And I remember leaving when I left religion. I went to God and I said, God, I don't want all those things. I don't want any of that. I don't want to take your place. I don't want to be, I don't want to be put in your place then I remember crying and saying God I didn't know any better that's what I was taught that's what I believed that's what I knew to be true and now I'm not a part of any of that any of that and I just say God thank you thank you because I don't want to be a part of any of that if it takes your place and where where you need to be in my life I don't want any a part of that I don't want to be called the spiritual one, the anointed one, the holy one. I don't want to be called that. You are that. And I've had so much peace in my life than what I've ever had in the whole 35 years of being in religion and I understand why because I know that I am accepted and I know that I'm loved and I'm forgiven by my father and that's all I need to know so I just wanted to share that with you all 
I'll share more in the future. God bless you all. And I hope that you can find that for your lives one day. In Jesus' name.